All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It is Tuesday. You know what that means. Time to do the Dow now, Tuesday Dow. And today we find ourselves diving back into living the wisdom of the Dow, change your thoughts, change your life. Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. And we're looking at the fourth verse of the Tao Te Ching, entitled Living Infinitely. And so, the Tao, Dr. Wayne Dyer says, is the source of all life, yet it is empty and limitless and cannot be constrained, quantified, or measured. This life-giving energy of creation provides a profound source of joy and peace that's accessible to us at all times. If we live from an infinite perspective, will relinquish the idea that our only identity is our physical body, in which we progress through our lives. But in totality, we are infinite, being disguised as a person existing in the world of quote-unquote sharp edges and twisted knots that this fourth verse of the Tao Te Ching refers to, coalescing within and around us at all times, ladies and gentlemen, is the invisible life-giving force, or the Tao, the force of the Tao. And it is inexhaustible, it is bottomless, and it cannot be depleted. Let us read now the fourth verse of the Tao Te Ching. And thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I figured we'd do a quick one today just to get some more peace and happiness, and joy, or maybe just advice from the great sage Lao Tzu from 2,500 years ago. Once again, we're reading from Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, Living in the Wisdom of the Tao, for purposes of teaching and commentary and expanding the mind so that we can increase our awareness of ourselves and the things that are, as Hermes Trismegistus puts it, or Thoth, the Egyptian sage god, but of the things that are, and so through that increased awareness, hopefully we can increase simply the quality of our lives. The fourth verse now of the Tao Te Ching. <clears throat> the Tao is empty, but inexhaustible, bottomless. It is the ancestor of it all. I just remembered that the microphone was over there. Maybe that'll be a little more clear. Hopefully the kitten doesn't play with it. The Tao is empty, but inexhaustible. Bottomless, the ancestor of it all. Within it, the sharp edges become smooth. The twisted knots loosen. The sun is softened by a cloud. The dust settles into place. It is hidden, but always present. I do not know who gave birth to it. It seems to be the common ancestor of all, the father of things. This fourth verse of the Tao Te Ching, Wayne Dyer continues, invites us, ladies and gentlemen, to consider rearranging our thoughts about who we are. Remember, the Tao is empty but inexhaustible, the ancestor of it all. It seems that, it seems to be saying to us that this idea of cultivating an awareness of the infinite aspect of ourselves is a way to tap into the limitless source of creative energy that flows through us, that is the Tao. And so, if we can begin to do this, we can begin to experience, like it says, change your thoughts, change your life, but when you have this new way of looking at things, the things that you used to experience one way become a whole different thing, even though to, to somebody else it may seem to be the same exact thing. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to try not to ramble too much this time. For example, he says, you may want to help less fortunate people improve their day-to-day -day existence, but you don't believe that they have the time 
that you or us have the time or energy to do so because of who we are and what we presently do. But as we relax and hold on to the idea of ourselves as the job you do or the life you're living and seek to acquaint yourself with the limitless creative energy that's a part of you, the time and energy we require will appear. What do you mean, Dr. Wayne Dyer? Give us more explanation on this. Imaging and imagining yourself. Now remember, imagery, mental imagery is extremely powerful and important for all of us to use in our lives. So be careful with the kind of imagery. Imagining yourself helping others guided by the infinite aspect of ourselves rather than the limited aspect will generate a different kind of behavior, behavior and actions that complement our vision through the common ancestor of the Tao. Quote, unquote, common ancestor. Ultimately, we'll cultivate an absolute knowing that whatever assistance we need is right here, right now, in front of and back of, above and below us. It is empty, yet it is very much present, the Tao. It is, as Lao Tzu reminds us in this fourth verse of the Tao Te Ching, inexhaustible, bottomless, and the ancestor of it all. Or you could think of it as the source of it all. Awareness of the omnipresence of the Tao means that thoughts of shortages or lack aren't prevalent Beliefs such as there's no way this will happen or it's just not my destiny or with my luck things could never work out. These ideas cease to be entertained. And this is powerful if we can get to this place, but it takes much practice and work and diligence. And so keep that in mind. But it isn't impossible. Think of how a habit or a routine is created and how these things could be created in a similar way. And so, this new self-portrait, based on the cooperative presence of the Invisible Tao, elevates us to living, hopefully, a more inspired life. That is, one of being, quote-unquote, in spirit, inspired. Inspiration, all back to in spirit, rather than a disaster or a disassociation from astral or the spirit or in unending touch with the Tao. When we live infinitely, the rewards are a sense of peaceful joy because we know looking out and as the observer that all things are in order. Hello, beans. Are you saying hello? The kitten wants to say hello, ladies and gentlemen. I think she's going to walk on the keyboard now. <laughs> That's all right. So what does Wayne Dyer tell us to do? Well, exactly what we were just saying, ladies and gentlemen. Become an infinite observer. How do we do that? Well, Wayne says, when acknowledged as a sign of change, worry is transitory. It's simply a part of the world of the changing. If you view your life from the vantage point of an observer, concerns, anxieties, and struggles seem to blend in into what Dr. Dyer describes as an eternal mix or just the flowing of life. From this ageless perspective, Picture how important the things you feel, you know, upset about now will be in a hundred, a thousand, a million, or an uncountable number of years. And remember, so to me, this is talking about perspective. Once again, change the way we look at things and the things we look at change. Right, Beans? But... Remember, he says, that you, like the infinite Tao, from which we originated, 
are part of an eternal reality. So rearrange our thoughts to practice thinking in alignment with the Tao, with the assistance of the eternal Tao. All of the sharp edges, quote-unquote, from the verse earlier, of life tend to smooth out and the knots loosen and the dust settles. By becoming an infinite observer, Wayne Dyer recommends us to try it, ladies and gentlemen. And then finally, why you should get this book for yourself, to put it on your shelf. He gives us at the end of each of these chapters a little section called Do the Tao Now. Today, he says, do the Tao Now. Pick a situation today. Any situation will work. Might even be a cat trying to distract you. I don't know. And instead of verbally responding, ah, see, here's the lesson. Be silent and listen to your thoughts. Maybe in this case, allow the distraction. <laughs> and then it will just magically go away. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, sorry. Do the down now. Sorry. Thank you for being here. Hopefully you're getting value. Instead of verbally responding, be silent and listen to your thoughts. For example, in a social gathering or a business meeting, choose to seek the emptiness found in silence in order to be aware of our infinite self. Invite it to let us know when or whether to respond. And if we find our worldly ego interrupting or judging, then just observe that without criticizing or changing it. We'll begin to find, he says, more and more situations where it feels peaceful and joyful to be without response. Just to be in the infinity that's hidden, but always present. You might want to duplicate this advice of Dr. Wayne Dyer's teacher, Nisargadatta Maharaj and post it conspicuously somewhere around so we can read it daily, ladies and gentlemen. And it says this, these three lines, Wisdom is knowing I am nothing. Love is knowing I am everything. And between the two, my life moves. Between the two, ladies and gentlemen, our life moves. And while we're living, stay as close to love as we can. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a boom to the wisdom of the Tao. Living the wisdom of the Tao and change your thoughts, change your life. From the amazing, incredible, late Dr. Wayne W. Day. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it short. Keep it simple. Keep it sweet today. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to remember to seek to achieve and maintain happiness through enlightenment, through a greater awareness and understanding of the nature of reality and ourselves, so that through that awareness, we can increase the quality of not only our lives, but the lives of those around us. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, there is no way to happiness. Happiness is the way. And continue to seek to discover the lost wisdom of the ages and the mysteries of our history. You can expand the description below to get this book for yourself, to put it on your shelf so you can follow along in the future, as well as a link to my Etsy shop and landscape paintings. And also, C60 Power, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate antioxidant known to man. Give yourself the gift of health. All right, I'll catch you tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, for continuing our series into the Hermetic philosophy in the Kabbalah. Thanks so much. Be the change that you want to see. Na -na 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 -na.